Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. Today, the authors present the paper called as Data Mining of the Astronomical Images by the Collitech Software. Now, the fast technological progress provokes creation of a big amount of data. There are a lot of different fields of science that use the high-dimensional data sets for analysis. One of them is an astronomy. So, in what way the big data sets can be fed? This data can be fed in different forms, for example, file streams, video stream, physical data saved on the different servers, virtual observatories, or even astroplates. All this data can be received from the network of automated ground and space-based observation systems, or even from the old astronomical achieves. For example, Pan Stars in Gavai contains of two telescopes with 1.8 meter aperture. Both are equipped with the largest CCD camera, which records about 1 in 4 billion of pixels per image. Each image requires about 2 GB of storage and exposure time will be up to 1 minute. So, more than 10 TB of data are obtained every night. Also, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope LSST, in Chile currently is under construction. It will take images of the full sky every few nights. There will be about 2,000 hundreds of uncompressed images per year, that equals more than 2 petabytes. When we have a lot of astronomical data, what can we do with it? There are a lot of directions of research in astronomy. Some of them are solar system objects, variable stars, asteroids, comets, near-Earth objects, satellites, and others. In one frame, there are a lot of thousands of objects. Series of frames can contain hundreds of frames. For scientific research and analysis, such big amount of data should be preprocessed by the special data preprocessing methods and data reduction models, which simplify input by reducing unnecessary information. This means that we also have the data mining problems in astronomy. So, how can we solve them? For the proper processing, we need to use all steps from the knowledge discovering database process, which contains the data mining stage in it. So, I want to tell you about the Colitex software, which implements all data mining steps during processing the different types of astronomical information, which is fed online in automated mode. On this slide you can see the results of frames processing by the Colitex software. There are raw frames on the left side and processed frames with alignment and centered view on the right side. Also, detected moving objects are present on the right side too. On this slide you can find the very brief sequence of the online processing. Images are saved from the telescope, then processed by the Colitex software in different modes, and we can get necessary results as light curves and appropriate reports. There are a lot of type uh, of uh, telescopes aberration that can be caused by the corrupted astronomical data. For example, diffraction rays, motion blur, wig netting, flare light, coma, and others. The data with some aberrations is unnecessary information. So, the removing of it on pre-processing stage allows to increase the quality of processing and reduce the execution time. The pre-processing stage includes analysis of the input data and make a decision about its quality. Some aberrations can be removed by a special mathematical methods for frames filtration, brightness equalization, and background alignment. This possibility is provided by the Colitex software that also allows to perform astrometric and photometric reduction and detect moving objects such as comets, asteroids, or satellites in real time. For astrometric reduction, at first, we need to recognize pixels that are related only to the real object signal. Then, software removes all unnecessary pixels from the input data set to reduce the amount of the measurements for processing. After the estimation of the object's position, the software starts frames identification with the stellar catalogs. This is a very difficult procedure because these catalogs contain more than billions of objects with appropriate information and about them, including astrometric and photometric measurements. The main goal of the stage 
is to understand to what part of sky these frames are related. Photometric reduction includes the estimation of object's apparent brightness after its signal's amplitude. This stage is performed for all real objects in a series of frame. The interframe processing is used to detect and estimate the object's trajectories. The core of Colitech software consists of preliminary object detection based on accumulation of statistics that proportional to the signal's energy along possible object motion paths. After estimation of the object's trajectories, the software starts identification of object's trajectories detecting in all frames of series with a large international databases that contain information about the billion of trajectories. On this slide, uh, you can see the processing pipeline of the Colitex software. After intraframe processing, the classification of measurements is performed. The different classes contain measurements of objects with null, near zero, normal, and very fast apparent motion. Processing of these sets of objects is performed in parallel, and this approach reduces the execution time. Kalitek has abilities for detecting very slow and very fast objects. Range of visible velocities of detected objects is from 0.7 to 40 pixels per frame. On this slide you can see the main user interface model for managing the data processing and its available controls. Also the window with processing messages is presented. The data mining is performed in Aldas mod online data analysis system which allows for near real-time data processing and assigns confirmation of the most interesting objects at the night of their preliminary discovery. During pre-processing step, all unsupported and corrupted frames will be rejected. The remaining useful information in dataset will be categorized into clusters with help of specified attributes. While processing pipeline starts receiving the classified FITS files, it identifies types of them, row, master frames, service row frames, dark, flat, BIOS, and others. And only after this action the data is prepared for processing. Regarding processing stage, you can find the detailed information about our methods in a few important publications in the journals with impact factor 5 and more. Also, the Colitex software is equipped with the modern viewer of the obtained results with a user-friendly GUI. LookSky runs independently of the main program and can be used for independent review of Colitic processing results when the main program is processing data. When observing potential hazard objects, the reaction time is critical. It can be increased by reducing the confirmation time. There is no need to wait for new observations. Often it is sufficient to have information contained in the high-dimensional archives with public access. The Kalitek project is developed by enthusiasts. Kalitek has assisted in making over 1,600 discoveries of asteroids, including 5 Neo, 21 Trojan asteroids of Jupiter, 1 Centaur. It has been used in about seven hundreds of thousands observations, during which five comets were discovered. So, thank you for your attention.